Hi, we're Dan and Charles and we put a short video together to tell you about some of the games that we play during our sessions. We appreciate that there's many of you stuck at home at the moment, so we wanted to give you some creative ideas of things that you could possibly be playing and trying at home. So I run a variety of different games here at the NFC, so basically we've just put a few together that have been adapted so you guys can participate at home in. Um, don't worry if you don't have some of the equipment, okay? We've basically figured some ways around it, so we hope you all enjoy. One of our favourite games that we like to play at the Lifeskills Centre is a game of Skittles. For this, we'd usually use pins, a ramp and a ball, but we appreciate that many of you might not have this equipment at home, so you can look for alternatives. What you could use for the pins could be some empty tin cans, some empty plastic bottles, you could look for a ball that you may have at home, this could be a tennis ball, any other form of ball that will knock the pins down, and then for the ramp, you could possibly be creative and maybe look for a plank of wood, a little bit of guttering maybe, you could have a small fold up table that could be on the side, just something that will allow the ball to roll down and knock those pins down. Okay, so the next game is Boccia. So Boccia is basically played with a ramp and some Boccia balls, okay? Don't worry if you don't have that equipment. So like we said before, you can use anything for a ramp, so whether it's being a bit of drain pipe, a bit of guttering, okay? Uh, anything at all. And then if you don't have Boccia balls, don't worry again, you can use tennis balls, for example. Um, and basically, how it's played, so you have ramp, ball, and a target. So a target can basically be anything in the room at all, any object at all. And basically just use the ramp and the ball, push the ball down the ramp and try and get as close as possible to that target. Closest to the target is the winner. Another game that we love playing at the Life Skills Centre is balloon volleyball. For that you just need a balloon, you can be creative with the net, you can maybe use your mum and dad's sofa, you can use some dining room chairs lined up all together. You could also attach that balloon to some string and attach it somewhere high to the ceiling and then you can create your own punch bag and away you go. Okay, another game that can be played is foot golf. So foot golf, you guys at home can basically create your own route. So say for example, you can start at the top of the stairs, okay, and have to kick the ball down the stairs, okay. Then once you get down the stairs, you might have to kick it around the lounge a little bit, you might have to bounce it off of something, okay. And then once you reach the finish, the finish could either be scoring a goal at the end, it might be knocking something over, any object over, it might be a cup, it might be a bottle, okay, it might be a cone. Um, and then yeah, basically see how many shots you can get it in. Uh, the winner is the person who can get it in the least shots. Here are a few more ideas that you could possibly try at home. You could maybe try creating your home game of basketball. If you've got a bin or a bucket, you could find some form of ball that you could throw into the bin or bucket and then you could try out some basketball at home, see how that works. Another thing you could possibly try is we really enjoy playing table cricket in our life skill centre sessions. Something that you could do at home possibly with that is if you've got a long table, perhaps a dining room table, you could maybe have a TV remote control or something similar that you could use as a bat, and then you would just need maybe a small ball, like a ping pong ball, that you could roll along the dining room table, and then try hitting that with the bat, and see how you get on with that. Okay, so in our gym sessions, we like to get very creative and we like to have a lot of fun. So why not match all of these games and all these exercises into one, okay? So basically what I'm saying is you guys at home can basically create your own little obstacle course. So it might start at the top of the house and it might finish downstairs in the lounge or it might finish in the garden somewhere, okay? So you might start for example doing 10 jumps in the air, okay, nice and simple. Then you might move on and maybe try and score a goal, okay? Once you've scored a goal, you might move on to some sit to stands, okay? After some sit to stands, you might then move on to some star jumps, okay? and then you might finish up with a basketball shot. So you guys can make this quite competitive as well. You can time yourselves with stopwatches, okay? You can then try and improve on your previous time, or you can compete against others, against other family members, for example, okay? And then the winner is basically the person who can do it in the biggest time. We've really enjoyed taking you through some of these games and hope we've given you some ideas of things you can try out at home. Hopefully you guys have got some new ideas and thank you all for watching.